Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Planes. I want to show you guys some motor mounts and prop adapters and just show you that there are several differences between a bunch of them. I've got a selection here in front of me. This info might come in handy when you're looking for a motor for one of your planes. This is called the cross or the back plate. It's a motor mount. The brushless motor will bolt to it and then this bolts to the plane. The bolt patterns are different on, on a lot of them. The inside bolt pattern is what bolts to the motor. Some of the motors such as E-Flight, their bolt pattern is going to be proprietary to them only and their mounts. So you got to keep that in mind because that probably happens a lot with other manufacturers. You know, there's, there's many motors, we'll just call them in a class of brushless motors you can buy. Those bolt patterns are generally going to be the same as, as other ones. But then when you go looking at a E-Flight motor, the bolt pattern is going to be different. I'll show you guys all this up close in a minute. But in my left hand is an E-Flight uh, backing plate, and uh, this one's not. And they're, they're both roughly the same size, but the inside bolt pattern is way different. These four bolt pattern in the middle are evenly spaced apart all the way around. On the E-Flight one, two of these holes are closer and then the others are farther apart. Just a, just a big difference. And these are prop adapters. These go on the front of the motor that you connect your propeller to. And there's either a bolt-on style like this that has holes in it to bolt it to the motor or there's a collet style. When you tighten up the nut, the collet gets tighter, just like putting a drill bit into a drill. And when you tighten this nut down, it grabs the motor, and that's called a collet style. I don't see any differences or any problems. That They're both equal. But both styles are completely equal to me. I haven't had any, any issues with either one as long as they're you know, mounted correctly. This one is, is a collet style that I think came off of... The, the big E-Flight um, sailplane, like the big two meter one, I'm forgetting, uh, you guys are probably saying the name of it, uh, the flight test one that, that lights up. Before it had lights on it, it was called something else. And anyways, this one's a really neat one because instead of putting the, the um, prop adapter on the motor and then putting a, uh, a prop and then the nut, before the prop is a is a heavy piece of steel here so this is a way to, to add some nose weight to your plane if you don't have any room to uh, to add some weight I mean th this is really cool I, I don't know where I got this from but when I saw it I said man that's that's an awesome way of adding weight up front and then if you buy propellers like I do that are uh, plastic and I guess you can call them you know one size fits all or a, a just a generic propeller where you have to drill the hole you know upsize it yourself they'll come with these prop adapters to help you uh, secure the prop to the to the plane and you can see they're all different sizes because a lot of the the main shaft here is different sizes you know for example this this one here is much bigger than this one here Let's get, uh, let's get my close-up camera for you. All right, these are various motor mounts. And I'm just going to show you guys a couple sizes here. And, and the ones that I know off the top of my head, I'll, I'll say where they came from. This one right here, the biggest one of the bunch, came off of a, uh, uh, it's a, a BL50, a 50-size motor that comes in like the uh, carbon cub. And also that Hangar 9 PMP balsa plywood plane they have. It measures roughly roughly around 38 millimeters inside to inside around 37. And it's got the same measurements all the way around on the outside, the part you mount to the plane. And then the inside holes are measuring roughly you know 23 millimeters and they're the same size all the way around this one right here 
is an E-Flight backing plate that goes to my favorite plane, the 300. And the outside holes are, you know, we're just roughly now, roughly 33. And they're the same size all the way around. Now the inside is definitely different. And I've noticed this on a lot of their motors. Can you see how from this point to this point is narrower than from top to bottom? So you can't bolt an E-Flight motor up to a standard mount. They're just not gonna not gonna line up. So keep that in mind when you're motor shopping. You know, if you're looking on eBay or whatever. The inside bolt holes here, that's a that's about 16 millimeters. And then the other direction is around 17 or 18. So it's off by, by quite a bit. And we'll measure this guy here. We'll see what it is. It's around 28. Same size all the way around. Then the inside bolt holes. Roughly 25. Roughly 25. So this is probably for a standard size motor of some sort. This is another E-Flight. You can tell by the bolt holes are different on the inside there. And then we can kind of stack a few of these together and see which ones are definitely different. You can tell these guys are the same. They're in the same family. These guys here are in the same family. These guys here are the same, but the holes in the center are different. The inside hole is important because of the size lock collar here on the back will it go over it. You know for example this one will. Here's another one here that has the has a hole. I've come in uh, I've noticed it before to where sometimes the lock collar is bigger you know which you could you could re replace that if you had to but keep that in mind that all these measurements and the, the bolt holes for mounting are not always the same all right now prop adapters these bolt hole patterns are different as well they're different sizes all the way around you know they could be perfectly square or they could be kind of like the e-flight back plate they could be different spaces apart from one another they could be three holes they could be the collet type that when you tighten the nut down it makes the collet get tight around the shaft there see the little slots when you push it over a motor the slots will widen out just a little bit and then this part here is tapered and as you tighten the nut and it's tightening the propeller down it's pushing it over it and clamping it down just like the chuck on your drill <clears throat> look at this motor there's no way to bolt a prop adapter to it this motor is collet style only so keep that in mind when you're shopping the way they had this one designed was the motor mount went on here no propeller on this side the propeller was on this side as well so all the motor was hanging way back in the plane so that's really neat a good design oh here's the one that has the weight that's a heavy piece of of metal right here and you can see the collet and this metal heavy weighted thing it, it's tapered so as you tighten it down it closes up the collet then we have different sizes as far as the bolt patterns go and another thing I've noticed that's pretty important use this motor for example right here where that parts raised up 
your prop adapter needs to be deep enough to go over it. M make sense? Like see how see how deep that is in the in there. If it was real shallow, like uh, maybe like this one in comparison, it might not slide over that part there. So you got to make sure all that when there, there's a lot a uh, lot of different variations. So when I buy a motor, <clears throat> if I can, I'll buy I'll get the uh, backing plate and the uh, and the prop adapter and all in one shot. Here's a brand new motor that I got for the Edstra. And it comes with everything. Has the mounting plate, the cross to the back plate, and the prop adapter. So that's a good way to go because you know everything is there. You know, you, you already you don't have to go buy a mount and try to get all your measurements just right for your bolt holes and the same for the prop adapter this is a uh, a 50 55 370 kv i'm going to run like 6s 3300s and then like a 15 15 5 prop or maybe like a 14 7 something like that Well, I hope some of that information has, has helped uh, a few of you out, or at least given you a, a little entertainment. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, please do. At 1,000, I'm going to mail this jet to one of you, and I'd like to do it sooner than later. Also, I need uh, video ideas and suggestions from you guys, so keep it coming. If you need help with something in particularly, in particularly, well, yeah, say that five times say so in the comments you know say hey you know this is not just an idea but but i'm stumped and i need some help and, and maybe i need help before tomorrow when i go fly and if i see the comment in time then then i'll help you out so keep the ideas and suggestions coming and then subscribe if you haven't and please click the like button that helps out the youtube algorithm and if you guys are liking what you're seeing and the algorithm recognizes that then it'll put my videos in front of other people and then hopefully in turn the subscription rate will go up and when the su subscriber rate goes up say that five times subscriber rate goes up that keeps me wanting to do this Th these videos take a little bit of time a whole lot more time than what you're seeing and i just i want to keep on doing it and i want to keep on giving back to you guys or giving back to youtube in general and i'll keep doing it as long as the subscription rate keeps going up so everybody's happy all right guys hey thank you and until next time, uh, there it is, you'll see me here.